So what is up everyone watching this video? I'm joined by a very special guest today. Please introduce yourself. Cowboy Mike Hughes. So thank you again for once again for this interview. I have a few questions for you today. Um, so what, what and who inspired you to become a professional wrestler? Uh, my favorite wrestler growing up was Leo Burr. I, uh, I grew up watching Grand Prix Wrestling. There was no WWE at the time. So uh, Leo Burke was always my idol. I uh, watched him. He was like the Hulk Hogan of the Maritime. So much, something like Sailor White would be in Newfoundland. Leo Burke was that definitely for uh, me for the Maritime Grand Prix. Yeah, like, like say like when, when my favorite wrestling for the Chris Jarrett Wrestling. So how did you first break into wrestling? Uh, I was at a gym and Edge and Christian seen me at the gym working out. And uh, Glenn Coulter was talking with me, he was in WWE at the time. And uh, we just uh, struck up a conversation. I told him that I liked wrestling. He said, oh, that's what we're doing right now. He said, we're on tour with Grand Prix. So I just, uh, he said, Here, here's a number. But, you know, you can go get trained if you want. So what, what are your thoughts on today's wrestling overall? Today's matches tonight or like, today's wrestling today's in general? Wrestling general. Um, I don't really watch a whole lot of today's wrestling. I follow a few of my friends. Bobby Roode and I were tag partners for years. Sarita and I are good friends around the road. Um, a lot of the guys that I knew when I went down to OBW for a while, you know, I follow those guys because they're my boys, but I don't really follow a whole lot of the storylines and that that are on today's wrestling. Yeah, I was watching some of your matches online against Bobby Roode. Pretty phenomenal matches. So, like, well, you already answered that question. Would you look up to as a child besides? So, um, how'd you come up with your gimmick, Cowboy Mike Hughes? I didn't come up with my gimmick. Uh, Emil Dupre, the promoter for Grand Prix Wrestling, uh, he started off back in the 50s and 60s with a promoter named Cowboy Len Hughes, and they just promoted me because I had the same last name Hughes as his grandson. So, they gave me the Cowboy gimmick, and uh, I just went from there. I tried to change it a couple of years later because I didn't initially like it, but they uh, later on. Uh, Fans just kept chanting cowboy, cowboy anyway. So I said, well, if that's what they want, you know, they can have that. So today, working wise, who are your top three favorite wrestlers working wise? Uh, Rhino is one of my favorites. Uh, Colt Cabana, right now. You mean people I've worked? Yeah, like who, uh, all people you worked with who are your favorites? And uh, well, Rhino and Colt Cabana are two people that are my favorites. Titus is uh, one of my favorite guys to get in the ring with. Um, you know, Bobby Roode is one of my favorite guys to watch now just because he's one of my yeah, close friends and I think he's the best in the business right now today. So, you know, I, I've had the privilege and the honor of working with a lot of guys and uh, most of them are great. I think today that the business itself is rising. Do you feel the same way and like, are you contributing to contributing to the rising? Uh, I think so. In maritime wrestling, uh, I'm the booker for I think like three or four of the different ones. I promote myself. Uh, I have a uh, training facility at Naturally Fit uh, PEI and the Island Performance Center. So I train guys that I feel have the potential to do good things for the business. And I try to uh, deter the people that are doing bad things for the business. Yeah. You know, I think people have to be professionally trained. I think they have to go to the gym and look like wrestlers. And if they don't, I don't think they belong in this business. If you don't want to put the time into going to the gym, if you don't want to put the time into eating properly and looking like a professional athlete, you know. You don't. You shouldn't have the option to just put on a T-shirt and a pair of tights that you bought yeah. at high spots and just get in the ring because your buddy's the promoter. That's, yeah, that's the injustice of the business. What do you think of Newfoundland wrestling at today's events? Uh, Newfoundland wrestling has been doing nothing but growing. LCW is phenomenal. It's one of the best promotions in Canada, if not the best to work in. Um, they always bring in a lot of the stars to try to mix the groups. We have a lot of young up-and-coming wrestlers and we have a lot of the wrestlers that uh, are just finishing up their runs in WWE and TNA and then, like tonight with uh, Roddy Piper one of the greatest legends of all time so you know it's that's uh, Newfoundland wrestling is on the map it's going to grow bigger and bigger yeah did you ever have any thoughts with WWE and TNA or other major promotion did you, ever, did you ever have any talks with WWE or TNA? Or I was actually in, uh, down in developmental in 2007, and uh, I did two weeks down there, and then uh, things didn't work out. So since then, I mostly wrestled internationally. Yeah. Before and after that, places like New Japan, Korea, IWA, Puerto Rico, uh, you know, England, All Star Wrestling, Catch in, in Germany. You know, I've spent since then. There's other places to wrestle, and. 
there, there's more actually more talented wrestlers outside of WWE. Yeah. The general public thinks that the best wrestlers are in WWE because they make the most money, but that's that's not always the case. Yeah, it's a shame because you're a great wrestler yourself and you deserve to be in a big time. Oh, thank you. So what are your thoughts on your opponent tonight, Colt Cabana? Uh, he's a great wrestler. Uh, he's a great guy, which is, means more to me. He's a better person than he is a performer, and he's a hell of a performer. So, you know, it's a... Uh, it's great to get into a ring with that. He's also traveled all over the world, so you know, it's two guys that can get in there and uh, you know, basically hold up their own and have a good match. And uh, you know, Colt's a guy. You, you learn from each other, and you learn in this business every day. You're in a car, or every day you're in a ring, and Colt's one of those guys you can pick up pieces. And learn from. So, what does the future hold for the legend of legacy to wrestling cowboy like you? Who knows, you know, hopefully things only get bigger and better here in Legend City Wrestling, you know. We hope to see maybe a TV deal here in the future and see if people can, we can expose the product to more people. And I think that's all that Legend City Wrestling needs is uh, uh, a road to uh, access more people. I think if people see it for the first time, then they're hooked. And yeah. that's all people need is a chance to see it. Once they get that chance, that opportunity to see it once, I think they'll be hooked and Legend City Wrestling will, you know, grow as big as it can. So um, thank you for your time, Cowboy. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you. Thanks, yeah, guys. I have to get going. Right? Okay. Thanks, bro.